Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video and so I hope that you're all having a really wonderful and marvelous Monday thus far and so we're going to be taking a look at what is happening right now across the Caribbean as well as what is expected as we're going to be progressing throughout this week and so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video okay and so let's go ahead and get started and uh, we're returning to this view of uh, the region and we're seeing here that there isn't too much happening but more showers and some thunderstorms are noted across some areas such as just in the vicinity of uh, parts of Panama and also Colombia as well as parts of Costa Rica so right in that region uh, within the vicinity of the South Caribbean, that is where we're seeing some activity. Going a bit outside the region into the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago, as well as parts of Venezuela, we see a lot of cloudiness that's really dominant within that region there with uh, maybe some showers, but there isn't anything major. Uh, just as we see that little blob of showers and thunderstorms developing right there, we're not seeing that within that region. When we're seeing more of those reds and black shades, that is really indicating deeper convection and and when that is present, usually there is a lot of showers and thunderstorms happening within that particular area. But we're not seeing that for the rest of the region. Again, mainly just cloudiness across some areas. But many persons should be waking up to some wonderful sunny skies this morning. Now let's go ahead and talk about what is expected as we're going to be progressing throughout this week. So first, we're going to be taking a look at this relative humidity map. And so where we're seeing the teals... Uh, which is the green shades that's indicating moist a moist environment. Meanwhile, the browns indicate dry conditions. And so uh, when the brown or the teals are darker, that is indicating more of an abundance, whether it be of dry air or moisture. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what is expected. So this is heading throughout this week, going to Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, and, and so as we progress into the final day of the week, Christmas Eve on Saturday, we're seeing that uh, we have that boundary, that diagonal line of those teals, which is indicating a frontal boundary that is expected. And that is going to be influencing the weather especially across the northwestern caribbean as we're going to be progressing into the christmas week so for the most part we've seen that uh dry conditions are expected to be dominant across the region as we progress throughout the rest of this week but uh, as we're going to be heading into saturday and going to sunday that is when things are going to be a little bit different for some areas uh in terms of cooler weather and so let's first go ahead and take a look Look at what is expected in terms of the precipitation and so this is from the GFS model and we're seeing here that as we progress through the week as we head to Tuesday going to Wednesday uh, we're not seeing too much happening across the region we see more rainfall expected in the vicinity of parts of uh, the Yucatan and Belize as a result of that front that's going to be making its way down uh, from the US and so in terms of the total accumulated precipitation for the week though uh, for the GFS here we're seeing these various colors and as we head to those greens and those blues go into those purple shades that is increasing uh, totals that are expected in inches and so we're seeing that through the Caribbean region the air is expected to receive the most rainfall uh, throughout the week is the South Caribbean and we also see parts of the Northwestern Caribbean but areas such as Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Hispaniola uh, are likely to be in the clear and not too much happening in terms of rainfall but uh, we could see some higher totals for areas outside the Caribbean region inclusive of uh, northern South America such as Guyana and Sur but for the most part, uh, this is what is all expected between now and early on Sunday, Christmas Day. So uh, this is not all anticipated for just one day. But uh, in terms of those totals that we see in the vicinity of Florida and parts of the U.S., the Gulf of Mexico extending into the Atlantic, that is all going to be associated with these storm systems that are pretty prominent at this time of year for the U.S., and so guys, uh, 
as the cold front is going to be making its way down as we head to the end of this week going to early next week it is going to be resulting in a change in uh, the weather in terms of the temperatures and also possibly the precipitation and wind direction as well so uh, of course the system the frontal system is going to be making its way off down from the north and thus winds from that direction are likely across portions of the Caribbean especially the northwestern Caribbean as I said and so uh, usually behind cold fronts there was a mass of cool dry air and so that is going to be helping to result in lower temperatures for many areas and as I speak about that let's take a look at this map here so there is the Caribbean right there and where we're seeing the colors such as those blues going to that dark blue and purple shades that is indicating cooler than normal temperatures and we see that as we're going to be progressing into Sunday across the uh, northwestern Caribbean we're definitely seeing some cooler than normal temperatures that are anticipated on this temperature anomaly map here from the GFS and so this isn't something that is new. This isn't something that is rare. As a matter of fact, this is pretty normal for the month of December where all these cold fronts make their ways uh, make their way down from the U.S. and result in a change in weather for parts of the Caribbean. And so, again, as I said, cooler than normal temperatures, a change in that wind direction, winds coming mainly from the north, as well as uh, the possibility for some increased rainfall to take place as we head to this weekend going into early next week. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, this cooler weather is something that I am definitely anticipating, especially as we're going to be heading into next month which is expected to be the coolest month for uh, Jamaica so January is typically the coolest or the coldest month for the island and so I'm definitely looking forward to more of these frontal systems and so again guys there isn't anything too major happening across the Caribbean region as of right now so uh, there is definitely that little blob of convection that is resulting in showers and thunderstorms across portions of uh, the South Caribbean uh, headed into Panama going to Colombia and uh, there is mainly all that cloudiness that is affecting some parts of the Lesser Antilles inclusive of Trinidad and Tobago uh, with not anything too intense in terms of rainfall activity maybe some pop-up showers here and there but nothing too intense but as for the rest of the Caribbean region things are pretty quiet and so uh, of course the reason for that is because of the abundance of dry air across the region that is helping to limit a lot of shower activity across most areas so that is really it for this update video on the caribbean weather i hope that you guys found it to be quite informative and so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weather wise